In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Wait patiently for the Lord. He will come and will not delay. You are listening to Advent Daily Bread Devotions with Father Eustace Siamme, a selection of Don Bosco. Stay tuned. We will Saturday the 17th of December 2022 third week of Advent and with this Saturday we enter into the intensive preparations for Christmas and we look at the events that surrounded the birth of Christ in Palestine. We are focusing on what happened 2,000 years ago that at one point in history, God decided to become man. In which way did he become man? We want to look at that in today's word. Participating in the proclamation of the word of God for today are the following Daily Bread members. Eric Onyango from Karungu, Kenya, takes for us the first reading. Joseph and Leah Chifamba from Marondera, Zimbabwe, celebrating their wedding anniversary today, take for us the responsorial psalm. Sister Marceline Twinemugisha of Vanya Teresa Sisters in Fort Porto, Uganda, take for us the gospel acclamation. And proclaiming the gospel is Father Francis Ogbeche Alapa, from Jalingo Diocese in Nigeria. Let us pray. O oh God, creator and redeemer of human nature, who will that your word should take flesh in an ever virgin womb, look with favor on our prayers that your only begotten son, having taken to himself our humanity, may be pleased to grant us a share in his divinity who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. First reading, the scepter shall not depart from Judah. A reading from the book of Genesis, Genesis chapter 49, verses 2, 8 to 10. In those days, Jacob called his sons and said, Assemble and hear, O sons of Jacob, and hearken to Israel your father. Judah, your brothers shall praise you. Your hand shall be on the neck of your enemies. Your father's son shall bow down before you. Judah is a lion's well. From the prey, my son, you've gone up. He stooped down. He laughed as a lion and as a lioness. Who dares rose him up? The scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor the ruler's staff from between his feet, until he comes to whom it belongs, and to him shall be the obedience of the peoples. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, Psalm 72, verse 1 to 2, verse 3 to 4 AB, verse 7 to 8, then verse 17. A response is taken from Psalm 72, verse 7, and the response is, In his days shall justice flourish, and great peace forever. In his days shall justice flourish, and great peace forever. O God, give your judgment to the king, to a king's son your justice, that he may judge your people in justice, and your poor in right judgment. In his days shall justice flourish, and great peace forever. May the mountains bring forth peace for the people, and the hills justice. May he defend the poor of the people, and save the children of the needy. In his days shall justice flourish, and great peace forever. In his days shall justice flourish, and great peace till the moon is no more. He shall rule from sea to sea, from the river to the bounds of the earth. In his days shall justice flourish, 
and great peace forever. May his name endure forever. His name continue like the sun. Every tribe shall be blessed in him. All nations shall call him blessed. In his days shall justice flourish and great peace forever. Come, O wisdom of the Most High, you order all things with gentle power. Come and teach us the way of prudence. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The beginning of the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 1, verses 1 to 17. The book of the genealogy of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Abraham was the father of Isaac, and Isaac the father of Jacob, and Jacob the father of Judah and his brothers, and Judah the father of Perez and Zerah by Tamar, and Perez the father of Hezron, and Hezron the father of Ram, and Ram the father of Aminadab, and Aminadab the father of Nashon, and Nashon the father of Salmon, and Salmon the father of Boaz by Rahab, and Boaz the father of Obed by Ruth, and Obed the father of Jesse, and Jesse the father of David the king, and David was the father of Solomon by the wife of Uriah, and Solomon the father of Rehoboam, and Rehoboam the father of Abijah, and Abijah the father of Asa, and Asa the father of Jehoshaphat, and Jehoshaphat the father of Joram, and Joram the father of Uzea, and Uzea the father of Jotham, and Jotham the father of Ahaz, and Ahaz the father of Hezekiah, and Hezekiah the father of Manasseh, and Manasseh the father of Amos, and Amos the father of Josiah, and Josiah the father of Jeconiah and his brothers, at the time of the deportation to Babylon. And after the deportation to Babylon, Jeconiah was the father of Shealtiel, and Shealtiel the father of Zerubbabel, and Zerubbabel the father of Abud, and Abud the father of Eliakim, and Eliakim the father of Azo, and Azo the father of Zadok, and Zadok the father of Achim, and Achim the father of Eliud, and Eliud the father of Eleazar, and Eleazar the father of Marthan, and Marthan the father of Jacob, and Jacob the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary, of whom Jesus was born, who is called Christ. So all the generations from Abraham to David were fourteen generations, and from David to the deportation to Babylon, 14 generations and from the deportation to babylon to the christ 14 generations the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ we are getting closer to christmas seven days to go and we celebrate the feast of our redemption the feast of christmas the feast of the birthday of the messiah and today we are looking at the preparations of the coming of this messiah what are the conditions that surrounded the birth of christ the conditions begin from the book of genesis what do we see in this book of Genesis? It is in Egypt. Everything begins from Africa in Egypt. That's why it would be necessary for Jesus to go into Egypt because this is where the prophecy began. 
Israel gathers all the children while they are there in Egypt. And a prophecy is made that Judah shall be the leader among his brothers. And a lion symbol is given to him because the lion is the king of the jungle. So Judah is given this title of becoming the lion, becoming the leader, becoming the king. But wait a minute. And here we find the story becoming very, very interesting because Judah is not the first child. Leave aside that. Judah is not the son of Rachel, the beloved of Jacob. No, Judah is the son of Leah. Oh, Leah who felt despised, Leah who felt out of place and unloved, becomes the mother of the king, becomes the queen mother. Oh, that is a message today. Wait, (laughs) it is the fourth child of the six sons of Jacob and Leah who gets a place of becoming the king of the southern kingdom. Because of him, we have the kingdom of Judah. Because of him, we have the land of Judea. And because of him, we have the Jews. They derive from Judah. Wow. Isn't this an encouraging message for all of us who despise ourselves, who think that we are good for nothing, who think that God cannot achieve anything big in our lives? Like somebody, a watchman somewhere, who heard about the news of the landlord's child finishing school, And he exclaimed, oh, thank God that your son has finished school so that my children may be also employed at his house. Wait a minute. We have people like this who think that they will not go anywhere, who think that their life and the life of their children is just to end up being watchmen all through. But wait a minute. Do not think that where you are right now Is where your grandchildren are going to be. Is where your great-grandchildren are going to be. Do not think that just because you are riding a bicycle, your grandson will never fly. I suppose Leah thought nothing good would come out of the children that she had. But we see the hand of God falling on Judah. And it is from this Judah that the king of the universe was going to come. That Jesus was not going to be born in the northern kingdom. That Jesus was not going to be born in Samaria. But in the kingdom of Judah, son of Leah, the despised one. Hold your head up high. Christmas is coming with a new message for you. You might think you are going nowhere, but God is lifting you up and you are going to be something in your life. Just do not underrate yourself. You are worthy. I am telling you, you are worthy. If God could choose the son of Leah, He can choose your son. He can choose your daughter. He can choose you to become something big. What is hindering that progress is yourself. You think you are good for nothing. You think you cannot go anywhere. And when you think that way, you are telling God, God is not able to change a situation. You are telling God that he is not omnipotent. You are telling God that there is something he cannot do. But not our God. Look at what he does even in the gospel passage of today. The people lined up here and how you have been listening to me explaining this genealogy story and how what makes it very interesting is the fact that the women mentioned here have something to work on. 
We have Tama. I suppose the whole society was saying, what is this? This woman with an issue of incest can be in a family of David, in the lineage of David. Yes, that's our God. Oh, we have Rahab who might have given up on herself having been in prostitution. You know, many people who find themselves in such kind of life somehow give up on their own image. And God says, I'm going to use you, Rahab. I am going to get something big out of you. You might have despised yourself. You might think that God cannot use you at all. If you are an Adventist, Christmas is calling you to a new life, to a renewed understanding of yourself. Please revive your self-image and God is going to take out something big out of your life. We give glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, World without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed Saturday to you. Thanks be to God. He will win.